By the time we introduce our puppies to public transport, they will have already had experience of travelling in a car and will have learnt the skills they will need to feel happy to wait patiently for the train or bus and to settle nicely when out and about. They have all the makings of good passengers, but we need to make sure that they feel completely comfortable and happy boarding and travelling on public transport. This is really important, as one day they will be providing life-changing assistance to deaf people who may well rely on buses or trains to get around. So slowly exposing them to slightly different things, so once they're fully vaccinated and they can go outside, um, gradually building up exposures uh, to nice short little sessions. And then at about 10 months we start looking at public transport and again just work nice and slowly with them just to build their confidence and make sure we don't push them too soon, too quick. I think if we don't take our time with it, you can sometimes cause delay in the training because maybe the puppy is spooked at something which we wouldn't expect and that would set us back a little bit. We want to make sure the puppies are enjoying their experiences, otherwise they're not going to enjoy working as a hearing dog. As with all areas of a hearing dog puppies training, it's important that new experiences are introduced slowly so that the puppies don't feel overwhelmed and that everything is made as fun and relaxing as possible for them. By doing this, they will grow up to be well-adjusted hearing dogs that are able to make the right choices. Kai the Labrador and Leo the Cocker Spaniel have been busy learning about buses and trains as this is something they may need to feel comfortable with as a working hearing dog. By starting out with short visits to the bus stop or train station, our pups gradually get used to the many sights, sounds and smells that they may encounter. Getting them used to these experiences will build their resilience and help them to recognise that being on or around public transport is totally safe and even relaxing. And of course, they get lots of positive rewards, such as treats along the way to reassure them. Well, um, traffic, we've got a bus route just halfway down the road here. So he's always been used to that because from a certain age, Oh, I don't know what I'm going to say, three to four months, he'll, he'll see the buses, hear the buses, and eventually Peter will take him and make him sit at the bus stop just to wait for a bus to pull in and pull away. So he gets used to that. By rewarding them for choosing to calmly board and settle on a bus or train, they will associate the experience with something positive, making things a lot easier and safer for both them and the deaf people whose lives they will transform. Our experienced puppy trainers will ask Leo and Kai to perform some basic commands like a sit or a lie whilst on the bus or train just to see that they are still focused and comfortable in this environment. Yeah, oh, he's, absolutely. his attention span or his, his boredom level is very low. <laughs> <laughs> if you stop for a minute to talk to someone, he'll start, let's get on with something. Or, He'll start eating plants or anything he can get his teeth onto because he's bored. If you're, he'll walk around with you all day, whatever situation you're in, he's fine with that. But just stand around, he, he doesn't do but, that. Um, you know, if he thinks, like a child, I don't want to be here, I've had enough, you're not buying me a toy or anything, he'll let us start. As with all aspects of hearing dog training, by taking things at a pace that our puppies are comfortable with and by making things fun and relaxing as possible, we can ensure that our pups grow up to be confident, well-adjusted hearing dogs who love getting out and about with their deaf partners. He just, his behaviour would remain consistent throughout, so that was quite nice to see because it shows that he can adapt to new places and as a hearing dog that's probably one of the most important things that they can cope with with change and different handlers and experiences. Keep an eye out for episode 6 of Hearing Dogs TV. You'll see how Kai the Labrador and Leo the Cocker Spaniel are taught to alert deaf people to important and life-saving sounds and how this completely transforms people's lives.